Today I have something very unusual that I don't think any of you have ever seen before. And it's this thing right here, and it might look like a table or a box or some kind of thing. But when you open it up, you quickly realize it's actually a piano. And so what we have here today is a travel piano, and the name down here in the corner says Hampton. It's believed this was a Story and Clark venture from possibly the 1950s. It's really very little is known about this piano. And the owner of the store that I'm at right now, the info for the store, by the way, will be down in the description below. If you're interested in checking out this piano or anything else that happened in the store, uh, you can find their info there. Uh, the owner of the store says that he's never seen one ever again like this before, so it's quite unusual. I never have seen anything like this before. And I'm going to show you the inside of it in a second because it's really weird as well. Um, the music desk uh, would go right here. Uh, the screws are missing for it, unfortunately, but that is where the music desk would go, so you could just put your songs there and play. Now, the idea for this piano, as you could probably imagine, is that um, you know it would be easier to move than, say, a regular piano like an upright grand or something like that. So uh, you could just take off the legs and then lift it up and carry it around. And so you've got a little lyre down here with pedals. The left pedal appears to be uh, disconnected at the moment, but the right pedal works just like you'd expect. It lifts all the dampers off the strings, and as you can hear, the piano sounds quite different from your usual piano, even though it functions inside very much like a normal piano. So let's check out the inside, and we'll see how that works. As you can see, it is much different than your usual piano. The hammers actually strike downwards to, towards the strings, which lay horizontally across the, uh, the, the, uh, the harp. So when you play it, the hammers actually strike downwards. And what's kind of cool is that only two, um, there's only two strings per note over here, and then I think in the bass it looks like there's only, there's only one string per note down here in the bass, whereas normally on a full-size piano, you'd have one string down here for the super thick strings, and then once you got into the thinner copper strings, you'd have two, and then for the rest of the piano, you'd have three strings per note. But on this piano, you only have a maximum of two. So that's why it has that kind of dainty sound, and of course it needs a tune as well, but that's okay. And uh, it's super, super unusual. I love weird things like this, just weird pianos and weird instruments in general. It's super cool. We've got all these odd-shaped springs here that uh, most likely help pull the hammer back up. There are these loopy-shaped uh, strings, and I'd imagine that uh, nobody online would sell those parts, so you'd have to, if something like that broke, you'd have to fix it yourself. Uh, Surprisingly, the action is actually kind of light. Uh, you wouldn't think that it would be, but it's it's really light. Uh, it almost feels kind of like an organ action, the way there's no resistance whatsoever. And uh, it needs a little bit of repairs, but I just thought that this piano is so unusual that I should do a video on it, uh, because I've never seen anything like it before. And uh, hopefully you guys find this interesting. I'm gonna play, or do my best to try to play just a little bit on the piano. We have... Oh, that's how these work. These uh, come forward like that and they help hold the, uh, the lid up just like that to help the sound project a bit better. So I'm going to play a little quick, um, a little quick uh, melody here that I wrote myself just to give, a little, give the piano just a little bit of a test and uh, hopefully you find it kind of amusing. It'd be very interesting to hear what this would sound like if you actually put the time into restoring it. Not that anyone really would, but it'd be kind of interesting to hear what it would sound like with new hammers and strings on it, because I'm that weird that I'd want to do that. Uh, you know, this thing really belongs in some kind of a piano museum. It's so unusual. So hopefully you found this video interesting. I, like I said before, I love weird instruments so much. They're so cool to me. And so hopefully you found this video interesting. I have lots of videos on my channel. Some of them are on unusual pianos, but most of them are on normal pianos. But if you can go check out my content, and if you like that, you might want to think about subscribing. And if you do, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.